Well, you feel like you're in Egypt? Fascinating. You know, they say the treasures that haven't even been found yet. The statue was stolen. It was what? I think it's made of gold. You know what the police do to American students caught with contraband? Your passports are confiscated. The way you con a con man is to out con him. You be Redford. I'll be Newman and smile a lot. Get back. Back from the door. Don't let them get away. Mystery of King Tut's Tomb. feet high. Wow, they're absolutely massive. Can you believe it? Fascinating. Well, you feel like you're in Egypt? Aren't you glad you came out of your way? Definitely. I wonder if they were really built by people from outer space a few thousand years ago. You know, the chambers inside they haven't even discovered. Really? Yeah, they say they're treasures that haven't even been found yet. Hmm. Maybe we'll find a few. I hope you realize all this secrecy is not a question of trust, Miss Olsted. Wow. It is just that we must be very cautious. If the wrong individuals were to find our discovery, the consequences would be almost too horrible to imagine. The grave robbers would descend like jackals. Oh, I'm probably one of the first Westerners to lay eyes on it. The very first? How did you discover it? If it hadn't been for a slightly misplaced terrorist bomb, we never would have. It seems that Allah has smiled on us. Beautiful, isn't it? Wonderful. Is that the Pharaoh's tomb behind that wall? We have every reason to believe so. This is such a slow, painstaking process. As serious men of science, it is our duty to see that every artifact is well preserved before going on. But can't you get any help? Uh, what about the government? <laughs> the government? That is the very reason we must take the safety precautions. If the government were to hear one word about our discovery, just one word, they would be down here with their jackhammers and bulldozers in a matter of hours. 
and all of it to line the pocketbooks of petty officials to build their senseless national arsenal. But you're only selling one artifact to finance the digging. Exactly. The Osiris. Can I see it now? Of course. It's beautiful. Can I pick it up? Yes, my dear. Oh. Oh, Mr. Johansson's gonna, he's gonna be just thrilled. Johansson? Albert Johansson of Chicago? I must admit to you, I didn't know you were in the employ of such a distinguished dealer. Mr. Johansson is respected the world over. I'm afraid we will have to have it authenticated. Company policy. I insist on it. That's why we got a bank draft, so we wouldn't need cash. Well, you never can be too careful, Joe. Ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. Yes, but let me put the idol back in its case. I will place the call to him as soon as I get back to the hotel. That is after we stop at the bank. I have a certified check drawn and ready for you. Just a moment. Hey, wait! Miss Wilson, let me have it, please. Miss Holstead, it is dangerous here. Miss Holstead. The transaction is not complete yet. This is a very dangerous spot. Anything can happen. Let me have the idol, please. Don't worry, Mr. Mustafa. Oh, I can't wait for Mr. Johansson to see it. It could mean a promotion for what, me. Just a moment. Miss Holstead. Miss Holstead, I told you to wait. Hey, she's beautiful. Come on, Frank. This is no time to be looking at American tourists. Let's go. Miss Holstead. Miss Holstead. <gasps> a purse. Packages. Stop! Wait, you stop it! Police! Uh, help! Police! Stop it! Stop! Catch that thief! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Stop! Stop that thief! Hey, Excuse me, I think this belongs to you. Miss Holstead! No, it's, it's not mine. What do you mean it's not yours? I saw the kid snatch it. I think you're mistaken. I saw it. Miss Holstead! Here, I, I, 
can't explain now. Meet me at my hotel at 8 o'clock, okay? Mr. Mustafa, did you get my purse back? No, I didn't. Don't worry. There are more where that came from. I'm just grateful that you were not harmed. I'll get the statue back. What are you doing? You were chasing after some girl. You leave me here all alone, and now these thieves have stolen all our supplies. She wouldn't take it. What? She refused to take it. Maybe she thought it looked better on you. First she denied it was hers, and then she asked me to meet her tonight to give it back to her. Well, good, because she can pay us for all this stuff. Joe, she was afraid of something. Guys, you don't understand. Our stuff has been stolen. It's gone. Gone! Come on, let's get out of here. Anyway, we can't wait until tonight. We headed for Kenya, remember? 900 miles of desert. I think we ought to take that back and leave it with the desk clerk. Joe, we don't even know her name. Who are we going to say it's for? Check and see if there's a driver's license or a passport or something there to tell us who she is. I, I just don't feel right going through her purse. Frank, we don't know what's in there. She could have stuck you with a bag full of drugs for all you know. students caught with contraband. Yeah. Two years in jail before you even come to trial. Wonderful. We're going to go back to the hotel and unload this purse right now. the key. Well, you want to see what's inside, don't you? What are you doing? The chambermaid. She may be coming in this room. She's gone. Let's go. Joe, I, I think we should wait. Why? Well, she's obviously in some kind of trouble. Well, she's an American girl. She's awful pretty. Got a point. <laughs> what do you want to do for the next five hours? Well, I guess we make ourselves comfortable. <laughs> want to order up some room service? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, if you want to go out and get something, I'll stand here and wait. No, no. Frank. Yeah? I think we ought to take a look around the room to see if we can find some identification. All right. That's the guy who stole the purse. Police! Why is there always a cop around? We don't need one. Open immediately. Stop. Come back. Lieutenant Rashid. Uh, we didn't call the police. Mm. You are alone? Uh, no, I'm with my brother. Hi there. Ah. Yours? Hmm. Well, then this cannot possibly be your room, can it? Well, no, but... Uh, whose is it? I mean, who is she? Where is she? You know, I believe that the chambermaid's first instincts were correct. Sergeant, arrest them. Wait a minute. Arrest us for what? Breaking and entering. We didn't break in. We have a key. Show him, Frank. I hope you can explain where you got it. We can. Tell him, Frank. Well, this girl was in the bazaar and somebody snatched her purse. And he got it back for her. Why didn't you return it in the marketplace? Because she didn't want it. She asked us to meet her here and gave us the key. Look, I know it all sounds Who kind of odd. is this very friendly young lady? I didn't get her name. 
marvelous. Oh, but of course, you were going to wait for her return. That's right. And if you wait, I'm sure she'll... No, 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 no. The sergeant will wait. You gentlemen and I will go down to police headquarters where you will tell me a more plausible story. Trafik. Stolen. It was what? Stolen. A little street urchin snatched it right out of her hand. Street urchin? You mean you allowed some little street urchin to lift the most precious asset we possess? Relax, don't worry. I put the word out already. The little urchin would wish he was dead. I'll have it back soon. How soon? I have another buyer waiting right now. He wants to see it. I'll have it back by five. Be sure that you do. Your passport show that you arrived in Egypt only this morning. Yeah, we just got off the boat. So much trouble. Destination? Kenya. Our father's meeting is there. Look, if you'll just give us our passport... Why were you in Miss Halstead's room? She's a friend of ours. Can we go? Until Miss Halstead reappears and verifies this uh, friendship, your passports are confiscated. Come on. Oh, oh, a moment. Please do not forget your purse. Worry about this young woman. Let's see if these gentlemen can lead us to the bottom of it. Doesn't it strike you a little odd that they gave this thing back to us? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it does. A chambermaid reports a break-in, and the chief of police answers the call personally. He interrogates down at the police station, and then lets us go along with the priceless artifact. I don't mean to put too fine a point on it, Frank, but I think we're up to our necks in trouble. Bates. We're being used as some kind of bait. How does that make you feel? Loved. Well, I think the first thing we should do is find a mysterious young lady friend. Great, how? With this. And this. Johansson in Chicago, a secret chamber discovered in King Tut's tomb is the find of the century. He wants one of the idols. I just wanted to tell Mr. Mustafa that I am still empowered to buy the artifact if he can get it back. Or um, maybe you would sell me one of the others? If you think we can do business, I'll be at my hotel. Wait, I'm expecting Mr. Mustafa at any moment. Oh, I, I can't stay now, um, but I'll be back later. Well, hello, how are you? Are you enjoying yourself? What are you doing here? What's going on? How'd you find me? You're asking us what's going on? Look. What's this? How many more have you told? Now, wait a minute. Look, why don't you do the talking? Why don't you tell us who you are and what kind of trouble you're in? Trouble? I'm not in any trouble. This place is the best. I just love it. It's really my favorite. Keep the purse under the table. I don't want it to be seen. It's totally spaced out. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, I've heard the food's very good. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to count to five, and I'm going to that door. I'm going to grab the nearest cop, and we're going to go downtown, and maybe they'll give us back our passports. Passports? They kept your passports. I've got to go. You do, and I'll break every tooth in your mouth. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Look, you're going to stay here and tell us what we want to know, or we're not going to give you a statue back. You mean you still got it? You mean the police picked you up and let you keep a sash? That doesn't make any sense. That's what we thought. We're not getting anywhere. Let's go. Please. Please just give me a chance. I know I really messed things up. I'm, I'm sorry I got you involved in this. That makes three of us. Now how do we get involved? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to the cops. No, wait, Joe. Let's give it one more chance. Look, we know how people can get in trouble in some of these countries. It's obvious you're mixed up with some sort of contraband. But how did it happen? Were you forced into it? Are you working with someone else? What? No, no. Uh, please give me my purse. No, don't. Um, dinner. Meet me for dinner at my hotel later, okay? That sounds wonderful, but no deal. We've got to get out of here. It's nuts. It's totally nuts. Speak to me like that again. I never heard anything so insulting in all my life. Animal. Let that lady go. Come on. Hey, Slim, don't pick on those kids. Whatever you think, Pinky. Yes. <laughs> we don't want the idol to fall into the hands of the police, do we? Uh, no. Where is it? It's not in there? It was in there. That, um... That American, he, um... He, he gave it back to me. Someone must have stolen it again. You are going to tell me what you've done with that idol. She becomes Mr. Nice Guy and starts to explain. Then she starts to ride and takes the purse. She's not playing with a full deck. No, she's frightened. There's something going on here. What? I know why she didn't want that purse. If she was still here, don't you think the lieutenant would have found her? Well, at least we're narrowing it down. What do you want? We're looking for Helene. Who? Helene Halstead. I never heard of her. This is her room. It very well might have been, but it's not any longer. It's mine. Your friend must have checked out. If you excuse me, I know. Actually, this looks a lot like her luggage. H.H. Helene Halstead. Now, I doubt very much she would have checked out without her luggage. Well, there's nobody here but me. <laughs> You know, you two are really something. So are you. That street urchin disguise was pretty good. But most street urchins don't wear that kind of perfume. You stole that purse for Elaine. Now look, if you two don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna call the front desk. Well, why not cut out the middleman? Call the police. 
That's for Lieutenant Rashid. He's in charge of smuggling. Arms, currency, drugs. What was the other one, Joe? Uh, artifacts, I think. Yeah, antiquities. You know, like Osiris. It's against the law to smuggle things out of Egypt. They'll push you in jail for it. Oh, it's grim. You know, I don't even know what you two are talking about. Listen, we're just trying to give your friend Helene the benefit of the doubt. But you've got to level with us. All right. What's in it for you two? Look, if we don't find Helene, we don't get out of Egypt. So why don't you tell us about that idol? We never planned to take it out of the country. We didn't. Oh, it's useless. You'll never understand. If someone would bother to explain it to us, maybe we would understand. Now, why don't you try? The whole thing's a con. It's a swindle. Three months ago, they had taken everything from Lane's parents. I mean, her father had a heart attack, and he can't even teach any longer. Don't you see? We had to at least try to get it back. This is like a pretty dangerous operation. They'd lost everything. What were you going to do when you did get the idol? Ransom it back to them for the money they'd swindled from Helene's parents. A very dangerous operation. She was desperate. And she's a very determined girl. Who are these people? How's the con worked? Mustafa. He had sold the idol to Helene's parents, then switched it for a lead fake. He met them at the American Disco. The Grammy? That's where they operate out of. There's a man named Abdul who's behind it all. He owns the place. He's in partnership with them or something. Helene just posed as another chump. But this time, we beat him. You mean Helene had it authenticated, and you snatched it before Mustafa could make the switch? Exactly. Until your friend here, the hero, decided to chase me all through the bazaar. Wait a minute. We're here to help you. Where's Helene now? She was out looking for you two to find the idol. Yeah, well, she found us at the Grammy Disco. She has the idol. I don't understand. She should be back by now. Helene! Good evening. I'm calling for Miss Holstead. You are a traveling companion? Yes, this is Wendy Bonner. Splendid. Mustafa. You see, I have your friend here. A prisoner, I'm afraid. Or rather, as a hostage. Until my property is returned to me. I don't have it. I will give you exactly one hour. I don't even know where to look. At which time, I will call you again. If you're not ready to bring it to me, you will have the opportunity to hear Miss Holstead scream in pain. All right. Wait, I'll get it. But if anything should happen to Helene, I'm warning you. What are you staring at? What are you going to do? You agreed to turn it over. He threatened her life. What else could I do? If Mustafa has Helene, then why doesn't he have the idol? I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. Maybe she ditched it before Mustafa grabbed her. We'll find it. Please. Please hurry. Please find her. Don't worry. We will. What do you think? The disco? I hope so. We should get out of there where they will never know where she put it. Unless she tells them between screams. We're sitting here. The big guy grabbed us, threw us out into the group over here. Over here. I just remember being down over here somewhere. I looked up and I saw her grab the purse and she started out, but there's no way out. Figures. No. Well, what happened? Where was it? Abdul's discotheque in the ladies' room. She hid it in the paper towel container. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Look. It's the fake. It's not even gold. It's lead. Wait a minute. She stole it from us. We had the real one. Unless somebody switched them between the time that she stashed it and we found it. Or somebody else is involved. 
Somebody we don't know about. Hey, hold on. It might be Mustafa. I have to answer it. Why? Look, think. He's not going to fall for the lead fake. What are you going to tell him? You couldn't find it? He won't believe that. Don't you see? He might hurt her. No, he won't. Not until he works all this out. He needs Helene to use in exchange for the idol. again and again and sooner or later I'll have to answer it. and then what will I say you don't say anything don't you think I should at least call the police no I don't don't call anyone just sit tight and wait a secret passage into King Tut's tomb it's so ridiculous it's brilliant especially now with all the interest in America and King Tut's treasure it's great stuff stuff has got a pretty good con game going here ripping off rich American tourists you remember the sting sure the way you con a con man is to out-con him. Mustafa's looking for fat pigeons. We're going to give him one, too. By the time we finish with him, he's going to be desperate to take us into those tunnels, wherever they are, and right to Helene. Can I be Redford? Won't be easy, but who'll know in Egypt? Cash Dad's ten thousand dollar note. Get that out of here! Come on, Joe. A girl's life is in danger. These guys are professionals. We've got to make them believe every word we say. We're not going to lose it. Besides, it's for a good cause. Okay, in that case, you be Redford. I'll be Newman and smile a lot. men responsible for the riot it's important i'm afraid i don't have time i'm very busy it concerns an american girl and the statue she has i don't know what you're talking about what girl what statue we don't have a lot of time we have to be blunt we didn't just happen to be in here last night any more than we happened to be in the bazaar yesterday when the young girl's purse was stolen we we're following her and you sit down you piqued my curiosity tell me more why were you following us? We knew the girl was carrying the Osiris in her purse. It's solid gold. I mean, solid. It's got to be worth $10,000. It's nothing compared to the other things she may have found. We're talking about a fortune. A secret I would not have thought such a beautiful woman would have shared with anyone. We hit it off. She talks a lot when she gets excited. She's in love with him. There's no time for false modesty. I know what she said to him may seem fantastic to you, like unbelievable. But we think it's the truth. Go on, go on. I'm fascinated. Helene has been shown one of the inner chambers of one of the great pyramids. The treasure chamber. Hard to believe. The chamber's full of the same golden statue she's been carrying. We want some of that treasure. You know, it is highly legal to remove such items from the country. There must be ways. Don't you think you take a chance telling me these things? We came to you because... Uh, you're the one who let Elaine in on this deal. She told you that? Not exactly. As we said, we've been following her. We put it together. We figured if she didn't let us in on the deal, we'd come directly to you. I'm afraid your imagination has gotten the best of you. Money means nothing to us. <laughs> what my brother means is that we've always had whatever we wanted. As a result, our father doesn't have a lot of respect for us. This is really a chance for us to prove ourselves here. I mean, a few hundred thousand dollars worth of artifacts here will be worth millions back home few hundred thousand? Our father collects artifacts. He's a collection of pre-Columbian statues that you wouldn't believe. We want to prove to him that we're more than just globetrotting playboys. We could just get a little piece of that treasure. And what exactly do you expect me to do? We tried to deal with the girl. You saw what happened. She ran out on us. If we could just get together with those people doing the excavations, we could outbid the girl and make it her to work with us. Why do you need her in the deal at all? 
Don't tell me you're in love as well. No, we're talking about millions. The girl has worked with a dealer. She knows the value of these statues. We don't know what they're worth. No. You overestimate my influence. Um, you'd be well paid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars. Consider it a retainer. You get us into the pyramid and get the girl to share the treasure with us. Uh-uh. Let's say half now. Get the other half when you deliver. If you can deliver. You think we pulled it off? If we didn't, we're walking into the lion's den. We've been there before. Not with these lions. Big desert out here, Frank. We'd find ourselves dropped right in the middle of it. Maybe we should have gone to Lieutenant Rashid. Endanger Helene's life now. This is one we've got to do on our own. <laughs> the suckers were throwing this money around like it was small change. No, you get your share later on. <laughs> They're both loaded. Believe me, <laughs> the biggest marks we've ever had. But the girl. What do I care about the girl? The statue she's got is worth $10,000, and I'm telling you, we got a chance of a couple of hundred thousand. What if she won't cooperate? Oh, she will. Maybe they didn't buy it. I think they did. Exciting opportunity we've ever had. How far is it? Not far. But the exact location must remain a well guarded secret for obvious reasons. If you wouldn't mind. After all, this is King Tut's tomb. So, having finally deduced what all this is about. You take it on yourselves to do my work for me. We had no choice. Mustafa could harm Helene. And might yet. Please, please help me. They're holding her. They took her to some place where the idol had been discovered. A tomb? Yes, underground. She was blindfolded, though. Underground. Tavik. Oh, very nice. Where are we, in the pyramid? There are many pyramids. Few, however, have treasure like this. How much do you want for the whole lot? The lot. Yeah, how much do you want for all this stuff? 450,000 piastres. Yeah, how much is that in real money? $300,000. We were thinking more of 200,000. You have that much with you? Crazy, you think we carry it around with us? Which brings us to the girl. How do we know this stuff was made in Hong Kong last month? You have my word as a respected archaeologist. Come on, where's our friend, the expert? That was our deal. Okay. I'll be right back. Miss Bonner still doesn't answer her phone. Something must have happened to her. Too bad for you. Because now I must take action. But I told you where I hid the idol. Yes, the discotheque. A wild goose chase. Well, somebody must have found it. Which means, Miss Holstead, that now you have nothing to trade for your life. However, I'm a very reasonable man. 
There might just be a way out for you, if you are interested. What do you want me to do? Gentlemen, you're experts. Stay back. Stay back. Don't try anything. Stay where you are. Give me the flashlight. You'll never find your way out of here. After them, you fool! Go on, go on! Move, they're getting away! Move! Move! It had to have carried King Tut for miles in here. Come on. We're heading back towards town. Somewhere there's got to be an easy access to these tunnels for them. It can't be too far from that phony pyramid room. After them. Move. Move faster. Faster. Come on. Go on. Go on. Move. Yeah, get in the way. Move. Move. Don't let them get away. You go. Oh, come on. Move. Stop over there. That way. Come on. Which way? Did you hear that? Yeah, they're right behind us. The music. I hear music. I can hear it. I think we just found your easy access to these caverns. Up the stairs, quick. song. I don't even like Texas. As a matter of fact, I think Texas is probably one of the most boring states in the Union. Is that a fact? Yeah, it's a fact. Prairies are dry and the women are as ugly as the cities they come from. Now you better take that back, boy. Hey, shove off. I don't think he meant all that. Speaking of ugly women. Kill him. Let's get him. We really appreciate your help. This is very kind of you. You'll think kind. Police! Hey, release them. Arrest him and him. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
Danny, your timing's perfect. Thank you. Hey, Lieutenant, how did you know where to find us? We'd suspected uh, Abdul for some time, and when we heard from Wendy that they were using tunnels as part of their scheme, I remembered the passages under the disco, an old part of the drainage system no longer in use. These things sure get around. Mm -hmm. Even we have a shelf full. This, however, is the real one. You switched them when we were here before. No, no, no. I merely placed it in protective custody in order to establish its proper ownership. My father paid a lot of money for that. Yes. Unfortunately, he paid it to the wrong person. And even Mustafa's claim is not valid. The idol, therefore, becomes the property of the Egyptian people. You took too much risk. You should have come to us first. If, however, you wish to file a claim for the reward, please fill in this form. I think you deserve that much. Thank you. Uh, Lieutenant, mm -hmm. I think you have something that belongs to us. I will see to it that you get the money back that you gave to Mustafa. And, and oh, yes, your passports. I am returning them to you uh, with the request, and it's just a request that you leave Egypt at once. Hmm? Not before the four of us do a little sightseeing. <laughs> right. Claim? Right. And may Allah smile upon you. At this point, I think we can use all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> Where we came in, isn't it? You know, I'm kind of disappointed that King Tut's treasure turned out to be a phony. I think it's about as close as we're ever going to get to King Tut's treasure. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking that Helene and Wendy are on a plane for Chicago, and we're about to travel hundreds of miles over sunburned desert. They've got a reward, and all we've got is enough gas and water to get us to the next town. Where did we go wrong? Well, what's there in Chicago? It's cold, it's congested, the pressures of city life. We're on our way to Kenya, the romance of the African bush. Right. What could possibly go wrong there? <laughs> Thank you.